Alrighty. Hey everyone. Um so it's kind of a dual purpose uh video here. Over at Board Game Geek, I am just incapable, it seems, of not getting myself banned. The level of moderation there uh, has always really chafed at my uh, at my neck, and you know I, I I've worked pretty hard to keep from getting into you know little pissing matches of the sort that are gonna uh, escalate. At one point or another, I came to the conclusion that that's only going to happen, you know, over in the general forum. But recently, I drew a ban over on, uh, uh, within the Wargaming Forum, which had always been kind of a safer place, uh, for using the word fanboy, okay? I mean, this is a word I use to describe myself, uh, you know. It's it's an accepted man, uh, aspect of the of the hobby to discuss the diehard fans as fanboys. Okay, now uh, that's apparently what I drew my ban for over on the ASL thread. I guess what happened was a lot of fucking whiny little ASL fanboys came over and hit the little red X. Oh, they hurt my feelings. Okay, great. You know, um, the whole tattletale system. At board game geek pisses me off to begin with, because I would never cope with that kind of shit to begin with. You know, I mean, it's just such bullshit to have. If it hurts your feelings, touch this little button, and we'll ban the fucker, right? You know, <laughs> uh, to some extent, I understand why uh, there's a degree of intolerance of free speech at Board Game Geek. Things could de degenerate very quickly. Um, it's such a large site, threads could get derailed left and right, whatever. So, you know, I've tried to cope within what I thought was reasonable, but at, at this point I'm just done. And I will pretty much not be posting on the forum there. Uh, I've been in this position before where I just gave it up. I just don't think I can afford it, you know. Uh, it's it's too important for me to post my videos to deal with reactions on them. Of course, what's going to happen is somebody's not going to like a video and they're going to start clicking it too. You know, I mean, it's like fuck you, man. This shit is just such bullshit. <laughs> you know, it's like the whiny little twerp in class who doesn't like the fact that I'm doing something and enjoying myself a little bit, and they're just bothered by that. They're somehow ruined by the fact that, like, I'm discoursing freely and actually enjoying thinking about things. And so, anyway, what I did was, uh, that's to explain, uh, wherever you see three dots from me, except where I'm using it as shorthand now because I'm just getting so used to using it, but uh, pretty much wherever you see three dots from me, that's just a statement of, you know, I have something to say here, but I can't speak in this environment. It's too fucking restrictive. Um, it's useless anymore. You know, I, I'm not willing to talk anymore. It, this place has silenced me. So what I did was I opened up, uh, I've used this before, freesmfhosting.com. Uh, offers simple machine forums forums and I've got a place at the gamebox.freesmfhosting.com uh, no spaces or anything in there of course and you know basically it's just a place where you can talk about games any type of games war games minis war games uh, computer games if you really want um, euros uh, economic games and uh, it will will accommodate whatever's needed if people want to come there and 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 chat and and such not i'm there um chances are it'll just fail uh, every time that i i've got uh you know maybe 20 people stuck their nose in so far and i've got i've had experience putting uh for for like this together before Eh, 20 people's okay if uh, there's a core of really committed people who want to want to be hanging out there and chatting. But, you know, I, I don't feel like anybody terribly feels 
that they had to leave the way I have. So uh, there's less need for that. But to tell you the truth, I don't know of another place online. You know, I'd go use somebody else's site if there was a free place to discuss gaming without, you know, without uh, this sort of uh, burden laying over. Now, I, I, I know that Fortress of Maritrash is fairly uh, mellow about shit like that. But it's so focused on one side of the hobby. I don't, I don't want this to be just a pure wargaming site. I'm hoping that people come over here to discuss things other than wargames. Right now, because things blew up in the wargame forum, and because I kind of publicized it only on uh, CSW Social, uh, that's all that it's attracted. And, and, and the problem there is there is another good wargaming forum. Uh, Concept World serves a lot of people's purposes. But for me, I like the regular forum structure. It's got kind of this BBS type structure with threads and stuff. It just ends up kind of uh, inhibiting speech as much as moderation does in its own way. Not that there's anybody watching over you and saying, you can't say that. I mean, you know, there's reasonable boundaries, right? And I've got reasonable boundaries too in terms of service of my place. You're not allowed to post porn. I don't want you posting lots of spam. I'm gonna, if, if you're throwing spam ads in and stuff, I'm gonna probably, you know, but nobody who's actually joining the site is gonna do that. It's just, there are automated dot tools that go out there and spam up sites, and it's just something that happens. Um, so, yeah, there will be that kind of level of moderation. But, you know, if you wanna get in a fucking flame war, go ahead. If it makes you feel good to, to grab your dicks and compare them, that's fine. You know what I mean? It's, it's just metaphorically, not, not with images. It, it's, uh, to me, that's a part of the Internet. It's a part of, you know, what happens and, and how you boil things out. And, and honestly, uh, trying to step on that, trying to prevent that too much, inhibits conversations that are more useful, and it also inhibits styles of conversation. So one thing I like to do is I really like to make trollish statements, maybe. Uh, that's what I'm accused of. I have no problem with that term. I kind of like the idea. But um, statements that, whether or not I believe in them, might kind of launch a conversation in that direction. You know, things like, hey, what about these card-driven games before Mark Herman's uh, We the People. What about, you know, uh, what about the definition of a war game? So asking, is ASL a war game? You know, people took it seriously as though I was really asking that question as opposed to the question that I was really asking, which was, I have this model of determining what is a war game and what is not. And that model is flawed because it seems to imply that ASL wouldn't be a war game in the sense of a board war game. Uh, because it's a part of, it, it's almost its own segmented little hobby. Uh, at least that was my impression of it. There's certainly overlap, there's no question. Like the groups I was in, uh, there were a couple of people who would play ASL, but they weren't big in it. Um, but it felt more exclusive among people who were big in ASL than, say, people who were big in SFB. Anyway, that was just my, my impression. I certainly knew people who were big in SFB who were not wargamers at all. And I have no problem in saying the SFB hobby was something separate from wargaming hobby. It really feels like it is. I don't think that changes SFB from being a wargamer or not, being science fiction might. And I don't think that there is a different ASL kind of sub-hobby there uh, affects its status as a war game. But I was not sure when I asked the question. And it comes to the point where you can't freely ask questions at, at Board Game Geek without, you know, it, it's fine if you ask about something that's not some fucking sacred cow, but if you ask about something that has a lot of fucking idiotic, whiny, tattling little fanboys uh, <laughs> who are gonna, uh, you know, try to get you banned for, for just discussing things without even understanding what you're trying to say. Well, it's not a place for me anymore. So I'm gone from there. I'll put a link under my YouTube uh, for what the page is. I don't think I can put a link, um, you know, directly on Board Game Geek, but hey, 
we need people to come by to chat people who, who feel a little restricted I don't know uh, you know and if there's already a good well well existing site that supports you know all kinds of gaming really um, fairly well I would much rather go there than try to spend effort to build up a site you know that probably isn't going to work anyway so if anybody's got any suggestions there of a better place to go other than hell you know but whatever what the fuck man <laughs> you know <laughs> All right. Uh, I hope to see you there. Um, you know, if I can get, say, a hundred people to show up and discuss things, it's going to be one hell of a good site. If it stays at 20 people who kind of stop in and look kind of as a favor to me every now and then, it, it's dead, you know, and I, I assume the latter, but it, it, if, if we can get something going here, it would be kind of cool.